that we had a great quarter yeah. for the, the fifth consecutive quarter. We had a record number of net new actives, grew our revenue 24%, which was an acceleration, and grew our EPS 30%. With respect to eBay, the, the, the main takeaway is this, that there is nothing about yesterday's announcement that was not anticipated by us, that was not in our plans, and it does nothing to change our long-term earnings profile. Why didn't the profile. street anticipate yeah. it then? I think there's some misunderstanding. There's, there's maybe a few key points to, to focus on. As part of the uh, separation from eBay that we had, there was uh, an agreement, we call it the operating agreement, that goes for five years. And there are a couple main factors uh, that are included in that agreement. The first is that eBay was restricted for a period of time uh, from putting volume on another, pay or having a, another payment service provider uh, um, produce their volume. Um, at the same point in time, we were restricted from going out and partnering with some of their competitors, mm -hmm. some of the, the largest and fastest growing marketplaces in the world. This is simply the next chapter. This allows eBay to go out and experiment with other payment service providers. It allows us to go out and partner with some of these other marketplaces. But very, very importantly, we have uh, a term sheet where we have a three-year extension mm -hmm. for the part of the business that is the largest part of the business for us and the most profitable. So we're very excited about that. But John, this is more than an experiment. They're moving with another startup to be the primary payments processor. And I just wonder, you know, going back to the competitive positioning, what if other big customers of PayPal's, like say an Uber or an Airbnb, look at what eBay's doing and think about doing the same thing? How do you keep them? Yeah, th that's actually more the norm than the exception. Most large uh, technology platforms or marketplaces like eBay have multiple payment providers. This was a restriction that they had coming out of separation. So we deal with this all day long. And where we are side by side with some of our competition, we actually see that we continue to be the majority of payment volume on many of these platforms. OK, and I'm going to throw it back to New York, but just a quick one. Uh, some are speculating, though, that the relationship with eBay, the company that you guys spun off of about two years ago, has become strained. How do you <clears> respond <throat> to that? Well, you know, eBay is a very large and important customer for us. Um, we have to continue to work with them as we go forward, and we will continue to be a, a big part of their payments platform going forward. I, I wouldn't characterize it as a strained relationship. Okay. Uh, my colleague Morgan has a question for you back in New York. Hi, John. Thanks for joining us today. I do have a question. With this parting of the ways with eBay, I just can't help but think that it makes PayPal a more attractive acquisition target, would you be open to a merger? Um, we always look at doing what's in the best interest of for our shareholders. Um, you know, I, whether it's uh, going out and acquiring other companies or how we invest or even how we return capital to shareholders. Um, so we're never going to rule anything out. Um, I would say, though, that, you know, back to the, this eBay agreement, one of the things to focus on, I think that is there's maybe some misplaced concern around this, is eBay is actually the, the slowest growing part of our business. So there have been 10 quarters since we've, had, since we've separated from eBay. The average revenue growth of our eBay part of our business in those 10 quarters has been 4%. The other 87% of our business is growing at 23%. If you extrapolate that out into the, the term uh, where we, the operating agreement ends, eBay is a much, much smaller part of our business that we're not nearly as dependent upon. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.